Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading a book from Disney's Winnie the Pooh, Hooray for Teamwork, Book 12, Lessons from the Hundred Acre Wood. When you have a job to do, the way to get it done is to work together as a team, and it's much more fun. Every once in a while, a perfect for play tag day comes along in the hundred acre wood and this just happened to be the one one of those days you're it Christopher Robin laughed tagging Pooh oh bother me again Pooh sighed sitting down my legs are too hungry to run anymore isn't it uh, isn't it about dinner time I guess it is getting kinda late Christopher Robin said Time to call it quits, Rabbit agreed. I'll get my jacket, Christopher Robin said. I left it over on the bush. But when Christopher Robin got to the bush, his jacket wasn't, wasn't there. I'm sure I put it here earlier, Christopher Robin said. Was it a blue jacket with golden buttons? Eeyore asked. Yes, it was, Christopher Robin said. Have you seen it? No, Eeyore said, shaking his head. I saw it hanging right there earlier, Owl said, pointing. Well, it's definitely not here now, Rabbit said. It's a mystery, Pooh said, scratching his head. It's very spectacular, Tigger said. I mean, Tigger said. Now, how will we ever find it, Christopher Robin asked. We'll help you, everyone uh, chorused at once. Thank you, Christopher Robin said with a smile. If we work together as a team, I know we can find my jacket. Tigger started by bouncing Rue high among the tree branches to look for it. <clears throat> Seeing everything up there, see, see anything up there, buddy boy, Tigger asked. No, but this is sure fun, Rue cried. Down on the ground, Pooh searched inside of every honey pot in the hundred acre wood. While Pooh searched, his friend Piglet did his best to hold on to Pooh and keep him from falling in. But as Pooh searched inside a particularly big honey pot, he tumbled head first right into it. I say, cried Owl, who happened to be flying overhead, a stuck bear is quite a bit stickiness of stickiness. I'd better check this one this one once again, Pooh said, emerging from the big pot, dipped with dripping with honey. Or maybe you'd like to check it, Piglet, he said politely. You can have a small smackerel while while you're in there. Meanwhile, Eeyore helped as Rabbit tried to get into a very small hole. I feel I have a feeling that the jacket is in there. Rabbit insisted. All right, so it, so it's not in there. Rabbit muffled, muffled voice emitted from inside the hole. Rabbit held tight onto Eeyore's tail, uh, as Eeyore strained to pull him out. We were we worked well together, didn't we? Rabbit asked a, a weary Eeyore. Everyone looked high and low, but the jacket was nowhere to be found. The sun was much lower in the sky when the friends all gathered back at the bush to tell Christopher Robin the sad news. Just then, Piglet spotted something on the ground. It's a marble, Piglet said, holding a shiny blue ball. Oh, that's nice, but we're looking for a jacket, Pooh said. Rabbit bor borrowed a Christopher Robin's notebook and wrote down, Marble. This could be a clue, he said importantly. Yes, it could, Rabbit, Christopher Robin said excitedly. That marble was in my jacket pocket. Just then, Owl, who was flying overhead, spotted something else. It was a handkerchief that had also been in the jacket pocket. 
Before long, the friends had found some kite string, four lemon drops, three more marbles from the jacket. These clues must lead somewhere, Rabbit said. They're leading to my house, cried Rue. Yes, yes. Now it's, it's, in, it's review, in view. Owl interpreted, peering over Rabbit's sh shoulder. Piglet found the blue marble near the bush, where we last saw the jacket. Good work, Piglet Pooh said to his friend. Then Owl flew overhead, as Owl can do, and he spotted the handkerchief in the meadow. Piglet said, Yes, and Eeyore found kite string in the thistles. Rabbit added, Now we're working like a team, buddy boys, Tigger said. Wasn't it amazing how Pooh, t uh, his tummy, led him right to the lemon drops? One, two, three, four, just like that? Rue cried. Pooh couldn't help looking a bit proud. Just doing what my tummy does best, he said. Rue found the red marble, Christopher Robin said, and slipping on it, Eeyore added, slip, slipping on it, and slipped on it, Eeyore added. Yes, and when I fell down, Tigger bent down to help me up, and he spotted the other marbles up ahead, Rue said happily. Wasn't it wonderful how we all have our special ways of helping? Piglet said, yep. When we put all put them all together, we make quite a team, Pooh said. Pooh cried. There's just one problem with this teamwork, Rabbit said. We still haven't found Christopher Robin's jacket. And now we're lost, Eeyore sighed. We're not lost, Eeyore, Christopher Robin said. We're almost at my house, Rue cried, cried out. Mighty particular, Rabbit mur uh, muttered. Follow me, and Rabbit marched right into up to uh, Rue's front door and knocked. Come in, Kanga called from inside. Aha, Rabbit said as he stepped inside and spotted the blue jacket with gold buttons on Kanga's lap. I saw you... I saw you snag your jacket on the bush, dear, Kanga said to Christopher Robin. I thought I would just sew it up for you. Christopher Robin thanked Kanga, and everyone cheered. We found it! We found the jacket! Roo squealed. We sure did, Christopher Robin said, smiling. But then we can do just about anything when we work together as a team. Unless in a day... Pooh's way. Working together gets the job done. What we can learn from this, my friends, is that when you work together as a team, nothing is impossible. So remember, teamwork does work. Be blessed.